Hey, it's Sarah with House Copper. Today I am um, replacing rivets that melted out. Um, I had a set of po uh, pots that came in that had um, aluminum rivets and um, I put them in my, my caustic wash, <coughs> which is just water with lye. It's not even like a half and half mix. It's like mostly water with just some lye. And, um, <laughs> And the rivets melted out. I've never seen that before. Um, melted completely out, almost completely. Like here's the pot without a handle. Um, here's some of the rivets. I don't even know where I'm looking at my camera right now. Um, here's some of the rivets. Can you see? Maybe not. Like they're like gross and they weigh nothing. Like I can't even express to you how lightweight these are. Um, they're gross. Like, look at, they're not, what is that metal? Like, I don't even know. Lightweight aluminum crap that melted in acid. So um, this customer is going to get a surprise. They're going to get much better quality um, made um, copper cookware back. I'm going to replace these with copper rivets. So um, with that comes just a little bit of finagling once you've drilled out the rivets, which I have um, the old rivets and now we're going to replace um, copper rivets on these pots and get them all prepped and schnazzy and ready to take new tin. So here we go. Now, you're definitely going to want to make sure that your rivet is balanced right here in the middle of a steak or whatever pipe you're using. You don't have a steak. And um, if you can try and get all of your rivets to fit ahead of time, that's good. Otherwise, you have to do some later drilling, which is a pain. And I might have to do that with this one so you'll get to see. Oh, oh, they all go in. All right, that's good. But I wanna make sure my rivet is solid. Let's see, that might be a problem. Actually, Sometimes I like to do the middle rivet first, but in this case, I think I'm actually gonna do a side rivet first. Um, just based on location. This is a really wobbly uh, make. Maybe. Nope. What I'm trying to do is make sure that the rivet will sit on here but the shape of all of this is not lending itself to holding rivets in place. So I might have to do some, some drilling later, which isn't, which is good. You'll learn. Let's see how I do that. Ugh. Wiggled too much. So I'm right in the middle. Stable. I'm just getting it so it holds enough, but I still can move my handle to adjust my next rivets. And then I will uh, hammer them all um, a 
little tighter as we go. Because this handle's crooked, very crooked. Wow, so crooked. Let me see if this will work. I'm gonna see if I can hold my place while I hammer this rivet in, because it goes in crooked. Because this is not a good make. But that's the thing about replacing rivets, it's really finicky. You're dealing with all kinds of factors you can't control because you're not doing a build. Now, as you can see, it's still really wobbly, but I don't think this is gonna fall out. Nope. As you can see, I have two rivets in, but they're still really wobbly, but they're not falling out. That's good because I still need to adjust for this last rivet because it's not like a, like a total measurement thing where if you're building something and then you can get that last rivet in right there. And then we can hammer that in and then we can tighten the entire handle. So it's a lot of back and forth when you're replacing rivets. Just gotta make sure that you have it fully supported. So now we have a copper pan with new rivets. We'll be able to tin that up and we will have hopefully a very happy customer. So if you have any questions about replacing rivets, drilling rivets out, um, how to kind of ad hoc your way through adding new rivets to an old pan, let me know in the comments below. This was just kind of one of those little brief tutorial things. Um, let me know if you have any questions, comments, ideas, how you do it. And in the meantime, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and tell everybody about the coffee shop because you know they all need to know. Um, and uh, thank you. Uh, see you next time.